Second, and take, uh, take our viewers to Berlin, where, as you can see, uh, the German Chancellor Angela Merkel uh, addressing the public on uh, that terror attack that took place uh, just a short distance from where she's speaking. There, Amri was sh shot since he had opened fire at a police uh, car. We did express our gratitude to the um, Italian authorities and our urge and uh, gratitude goes to the Italian police and for our close uh, collaboration, especially the Italian police officer who was injured during that shooting. I wish him um, a speedy recovery. And also, these, these security officers worked together across borders, and terrorism is a challenge for all of us. It is good to know that we are very determined in Europe and beyond to fight it. And everything shows that Anis Amri, who killed 12 people on Monday evening and injured many more, and the grief and sympathy for those killed and injured goes far beyond Germany. We feel our friends to show sympathy and I also would like to show my gratitude to the Italians because a young Italian lady was one of the victims that and I think that any other family family at Christmas will feel the pain. And the research and investigation is not over yet. In Berlin, the Intelligence Bureau will continue the investigation and follow traces and follow the backgrounds. I know we will not rest until we know who may have possibly helped him. And if there are helpers of helpers, we will take consequences. The Islamist terrorism and its consequences is causing a challenge for us in the last we will um, our, adjust our safety and security politics to these challenges. And there are questions which are not posing questions to him and this incident, but also how he reached Germany. Therefore, I asked Thomas de Maizière, the German interior minister, to, in collaboration with the federal states in Germany and the security agencies, to analyze every detail and then to provide the results as soon as possible. And there were political and legal adjustments and measurements need to be provided, this will be done. And furthermore, I spoke to my colleague in Tunisia, and Tunisia and Germany have intensified highly the collaboration against terrorism. And those who have no right to reside in Germany will be uh, seeing consequences. We will also accelerate 
the measurements to increase those the numbers of those who are not um, allowed to reside in Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, the question and the range of terrorism will maintain and for me and the German government, it is the responsibility of the state to safeguard the citizens and we will do our utmost that our country is a state of security and we will we will therefore work towards it intensively and you can rely on this our values of our values will be stronger than the hate values of terrorism they will be stronger thank you very much the German Chancellor Angela Merkel there making it clear that the investigation is not over but in terms of the intelligence already gathered everything pointing to that man Anis Amri as the killer responsible uh, for events in uh, Berlin. Uh, she also went on to say that they will be taking steps to improve security in Germany also mentioned uh, the, also mentioned a conversation she'd had with the uh, Turkish president about the the need to speed up deportations uh, of failed asylum seekers. Uh, but pretty clearly, uh, but pretty clearly, Anis uh, Amri still very much at the forefront of the, the German Chancellor's mind. Uh, let's take a look at a little bit of video that's since emerged of the Tunisian pledging allegiance to Islamic State leader Abu, Bakri, uh, Abu Bakr al Baghdadi. Indeed, it is just this still, I'm told. Uh, but let's uh, stay in Berlin. Our correspondent Siobhan Robbins is there for us. Um, Siobhan, uh, from that press conference that we were just listening into from the German Chancellor, I mean, yes, clearly, uh, clearly the investigation continues to ensure that there are no accomplices that may well be picked up by that particular investigation. But yeah, we heard from the German Chancellor. She is absolutely certain uh, that Amri was responsible for events where you are. Yes, that's right. Not only did she confirm what the Italians have said, that he is the man who was shot dead in Milan, um, but also that she said in no uncertain words that she believed that he was the man responsible for driving that truck into the packed market here on Monday, killing 12 and injuring many more. I think what was really interesting about what she said was those questions which she really had to answer about security and how they can go forward here because there does seem to have been a lot of mistakes that have taken place in the search for this man, particularly the fact that we know that he was under surveillance by the German state for several months, but then he dropped off. The fact that um, for the first 24 hours of um, this case, they were actually investigating the wrong man, giving him a clear window of space to disappear. And then, of course, there are the wider questions about security across Europe as a whole. There was an international and European arrest warrant out for this man, yet it seems, according to Italian police, that he managed to get a train out of Berlin, up to France and back into Germany. So three ch trains in total, two borders crossed, and no one stopped him. And they went on to say that despite the fact they have success stopped him and killed him that really was by mistake rather than by design they said that police spotted him at the train station that was closed and thought that was a bit suspicious so went over to speak to him and he then opened fire they did confirm though that if they had known that he was in the country and he was this prime suspect he wouldn't have been approached in such a manner so although there has been a um, a happy end in one sense to this search in that this man is no longer a threat. There are still far wider questions about the weaknesses towards terrorism and security here in Germany and across Europe as a whole.